Viewer discretion is advised. If you just know you're that girl, yeah. you just have no choice but to be that girl. And I feel like I'm that girl. What if you don't wake up feeling like that girl? How do you be that girl? You need to go back to sleep and wake back up again so you can feel like that girl. There you have it, child. That's why I feel like I'm the T. I feel like I'm the T because I work at being the T. <laughs> like, no shade. I'm not the T just because a bunch of bitches like me and live for me because we all homegirls. I'm the T because I'm the motherfucking T. And that's just sad. <laughs> like, like, I, I mean, that's just what it is. People legit in the world love to live for food. Love, 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 love to live for food. Love to live for your bald head home girl that do bald head home she like, like it's like it's clear that I'm I'm working at being the sea so girl let me be the sea <laughs> like give me that give me my flowers Sometimes you need to feel the pain and sting of defeat to activate the real passion and purpose that God predestined inside of you. You would rather find purpose than a job or a career. Purpose crosses discipline. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on the planet at this particular time in history. Public service announcement, bitch. I don't give a damn if you are young, middle-aged, or old. Mentally or physically handicapped, bitch. You can and you will get this work. I'm trying to let, let we're going to get into it real quick, but I just have to, let's reiterate. I will fuck you up, bitch. If you disrespect me, especially if you put your motherfucking hands on me. This message is specifically for the children of today. That age range from motherfucking newborn on up. Yes, I will fight a baby, bitch. <laughs> if your baby is disrespectful, that baby will get his ass whooped. And again, gender, man, woman, dog, cat, it don't matter, bitch. You will get your ass fucked up playing around with me. I don't have, you know, the proper etiquette, girl, to give a fuck. And because my thing is this, my I'm heavily built. Blame that on my foster care past because, you know, a lot of us ex-foster kids don't give a fuck about nothing. All that respect your elder shit. If an elder disrespects me, I'm slapping the shit out of them. And that's just on everything I love. I don't believe in them. You, in order to get respect, bitch, you have to give respect. Okay? But this generation got a lot of balls. These balls are big. And that's fine because we all know the bigger you are, the harder you fall, honey. So them balls may be big, but once I smack the fuck out of them motherfuckers, girl, and crush them motherfuckers, girl, and push them motherfuckers down some stairs, girl, and do the cha-cha slide on them motherfuckers real quick, hello, God, you gonna learn today. Oh, bitch, you gonna learn today. I'm letting you know right now. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something real quick. Don't let this faggot shit fool you, bitch. Don't don't let none of this femininity fool you, bitch. Don't let this gay shit fool you, bitch. Oh, I'm not gay no more. Y'all know I've been deliver, girl. <laughs> yes. You will get fucked up, girl. Don't let this fool you. 
Okay, when I'm done crouching tiger, hitting dragon in your motherfucking ass, girl, I don't want to hear shit. I don't want you calling the police. That, in the words of Akon, there will be no one that will be left to save your ass, girl. You will not be able to be saved. I'm not playing with you motherfuckers. I don't play with children, bitch. And I know where it's coming from. A lot of y'all parents think that we live in a world where you could be fucking assholes to people, just blatantly rude and disrespectful. Your kids see how you treat other people. They think it's okay to treat other people that way. You don't realize this. A lot of you white people, too, you live in this white privilege bubble. And you don't realize that once your child steps out here into what I'd like to call the real world, bitch, hello, God. Oh, they're going to learn real quick on who they can and cannot disrespect. I'm letting you know that right now. I work with adolescents that have some real fucking issues. And when I tell you that as of recent, my buttons have been pushed. The children tried to jump me, y'all. Key word is tried, bitch. And it just, and faggot this and this and that and all of it, girl, niggers. They was doing monkey um, Im Im impersonations, girl. And it just was like, so disrespectful. They surrounded me. I said, okay, I, I, huh. let me tell you something. I backed the hell on up. And I motherfucking let them know. Bitch, do you know that after I'm done clotheslining you, snapping your motherfucking neck, breaking your back, shattering your kneecaps, hello God, and motherfucking smacking the shit out of the rest of y'all, there's no coming back from that. So I highly recommend motherfucking men that y'all bitches back the fuck up. Because you messing with a real one tonight, honey. Oh, bitch. And then, you know, after all of that, because sometimes it's how you say what you say, amen, that can redirect the whole situation. And the way that I said it, with the murderous vibe in which that I said it, them motherfuckers looked at each other and was like, you know, we're just playing with you. Have a good night. You just playing. That's how y'all play? We know that y'all wasn't playing. You just got really fucking scared. Because I'm a big ass nigga. And let me tell you something. I don't tolerate disrespect. Not from no children. Okay? That's why your motherfucker's there now. Got my blood pressure born. Got me about to... I said, bitch, you know what? After all that shit, I just set the fuck on down. Turned on my motherfucking Netflix. And just zoned the fuck on out. Because I don't have time for that kind of shit. Like, I don't be trying to do none of that stuff. Because I have a heart. I understand the environment in which I work in. I know what the hell I've been doing the last five, six years. I know the community in which I serve, bitch. I get it, y'all are fucked up. Y'all got a lot of trauma and a lot of bullshit going on. Y'all motherfuckers don't wanna be here. Okay, I get it. But you gotta, <laughs> bitch. I, I be blaming the parents, cause bitch, no. It is really how you raise these motherfuckers. I know that it ain't easy. Nobody told us, okay, that the road would be easy, girl. I get that part. But, bitch, some of y'all parents got to do better, girl. And y'all have to admit that shit. And did you ever think that maybe your badass child, bitch, is a reflection of all the fuck shit you had going on. 
Hello. Your child be whooping your ass, and cussing you the fuck out, and dragging you through your own house, girl. <laughs> Bitch. I'm sorry, girl. I could, ne I could never. I'll be locked up. I'm not talking about the environment in which I work. Now I'm talking about as a parent. Like if I had a, a kid that was like going the fuck off, like doing weird, 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 stranger things type shit. And on top of that, beating my ass in the house. Girl, first of all, we would never even get to that point because the moment a child does one of these to me or some shit like that, bitch, I'm going to break your whole wrist. <laughs> bitch. And when I'm done dragging you through the seas of life, bitch, and partially drowning you in a pool of your own blood, we're going to talk about how this could have ended up better for you. That's the problem, too. Y'all scared to whoop these children. Even though I say whoopings don't do much, but girl, if these motherfuckers ever get too disrespectful, fuck the belt. It's time for these motherfucking hands. See, the belts inspire fear. The hands inspire respect. Hello. I don't tolerate that kind of foolishness. I have a lot of respect for my job. I have a lot of respect for, you know, the clients that come through with that bitch. But I, what I don't have respect for is motherfuckers thinking they're going to surround. I'm from the hood, bitch. I don't give a fuck how long it's been since I've been in the hood. I grew up in that motherfucker. And I have flashbacks, bitch. I don't give a fuck how changed your life is, bitch. I don't give a fuck how far removed from the hood you are. You still will always have your hood instincts. And when a motherfucker is surrounding you, it is your instinct to be like, bitch, I'm about to get jumped. But I ain't going out like no hoe. I'm finna wear these motherfuckers out. And I'm gonna tell you right now, eight, nine, ten of them motherfuckers, let me tell you something, bitch. I don't see no group of children whooping my ass. And I put that on everything. When I mean, y'all haven't seen it on, I've told you stories, but let me tell you something, bitch. When I decide to hawk the fuck out, cause you know, bipolar bitches, we got that weird crackhead strength. Okay, bitch, we ain't no crackheads, you feel me? But we got crack, you know how strong the crackheads are, girl. They have the power of ants, bitch. They can live 10 times their weight, girl, and do weird shit. They could leap a building in a single bound. Hello, God, bitch. Their skin is of, of steel, bitch, for a brief moment in time. Hello, God. You can taste the shit. Them bitches ain't going nowhere. When I decide to hawk out and rage the fuck out, bitch, it's over. Once I start seeing red and black, it's done. Your broccoli will be done, bitch. And that's on pure, girl. You will have no time to prepare the others. Because <laughs> the others would have already got their ass whooped, too. Okay, that's all I got. <sighs> See, talking about your problems, <laughs> it just seems, even I'm talking to a camera, you know, y'all are going to, you know, view the video, and I, it just makes me feel better now. Ooh, that's a weight lifted, honey. Hallelujah. I appreciate y'all. I really do. Speaking of appreciation, I did a video, right? It's pretty lengthy. I'm probably going to have to chop it down a little bit, but... I don't know if I want to post this, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys. It's kind of raunchy, um, the commentary, okay, hello. <laughs> it's very raunchy, it's um, reminiscent of a Pleasure Points kind of vibe, if those who've been sticking around, y'all know what that is. Um, I don't know. Um, I was going to delete it, but I kept it. Um, I haven't edited it or did anything to it yet, but I was thinking like should i post this because it's a little <laughs> bitch i'm really going there it's rated uh triple r bitch du uh triple x hello god um and definitely um i don't suggest i suggest you have your headphones in because don't be playing me loud for all to hear girl i don't know let me know drop down in the comments let me know i might do a poll on my community wall Hmm. <sighs> bitch 
Anyway, y'all be blessed and never stressed. Have a wonderful day. And remember that health is wealth. Bye.